Good morning, shavers. This is Lee Morrison, proud co-founder of the South Florida Wet Shavers, along with Anthony McKenzie. We are a Facebook group that is dedicated to uh, all things shaving for those that live and also have connections to the South Florida region, which we define as I-4 corridor and South Interstate 4. I'm bringing you a shave that's a homegrown shave, I like to call it. Uh, this is a, a true South Florida wet shave and the reason why is I'm using um, products that are from the South Florida area from Coral Gables which is a really nice city within Miami-Dade County or Miami-Wade County as we would say yeah we got D. Wade back number three baby so uh, just a, how I started this shave I did a hot shower first I uh, little, used a little Dove men's face wash which it's okay I'm not a huge fan of it but it does the job I'm definitely open to suggestions on that, um, but I also did after after I did that some of this pre-shave oil from Well Groomed Gentlemen, which is in Coral Gables. Okay, um, I will post the ingredients to this or a picture of it in the comments uh, so you guys can see what's in it. But there's some really good stuff in here. Uh, let's see, there's um, there's peppermint, which is really nice, uh, and I put this on. The trick is I put this on after I wash my face in the shower so it has time to penetrate my beard uh, so it's got some lavender in it which is good for the skin um, it's, it's got uh, what else is in here aloe aloe it's really good I mean there's some good stuff in here and I just love the feel of this stuff it's not too heavy it sits on the face well and it sticks which is what I like to see in a pre-shave oil um, then after the shower I you know got out toweled off whatever and then I put some of this shaving cream on from Well Groomed Gentlemen. Now, and full disclosure, I do not work for Well Groomed Gentlemen. I have no affiliation with Well Groomed Gentlemen. I was there for the very first time six days ago. I had no idea who the owner, or the general manager, or any of that stuff was. A men's networking group that I belong to, a business networking group. We did an event there, and I got to meet the owner, uh, meet the general manager, meet the, some of the guys and really great guys uh, but I have no affiliation they are not paying me for this video uh, and, and whatnot I just want to make that absolutely clear so I am giving a um, unbiased review of these products okay so this shave cream I actually put this on already I don't know if you can see like a thin layer of white on my face uh, this stuff does not foam up it does not lather and I did not know that the first time I used it. So I was kind of like, oh man, I'm really worried here. Because here I am with my brush, by the way, uh, South Florida Wet Shavers brush. Thank you, Anthony McKenzie. This was a gift from him. And, and AMAC makes great brushes. So uh, AMAC, I'm really appreciative of that. So, uh, man, I'm sitting here trying to foam this thing up. And it's just not foaming up. So obviously I was worried. Oh, man, how's this shave going to go? Well... I did post a live video already on South Florida Wet Shavers, but for permission reasons or for you know I, I, technology reasons, I can't seem to share that with other groups. So I'm just going to do this recorded video and upload it to other groups. So let's, without further ado, let's do our first pass. Now I'm using a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Double Open Comb Razor. Uh, this is a different razor than I used with my Maiden Voyage with uh, using this product. Okay, but this is one of my favorite razors of all time. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Fran. Um, man, just really, really love this razor. And I'm using a Wilkinson Sword Blade in here, second shave. I, I shaved with this on Saturday, so this will be my second shave, and today's Monday. So here we go with the first pass. And by the way, I apologize for not having any high-tech way to hold my phone. I'm holding my phone with my left hand, shaving with my right hand. Okay, so, so far, man, this, this just, this is such a slick product. Okay? It just like, it's like a slip and slide. It's really, really slick. It's so easy to shave with this stuff. I don't know about you guys, but my mustache area is always a freaking problem. You know, it's like the hairs there are especially coarse 
and they just they're, they're like they're resisting at me they're talking to me like no don't shave me don't shave me and and uh i'm like i'm gonna shave your ass anyway so so far man it's just like it feels like almost there's like no blade in here of course if there's no blade i wouldn't be shaving that would be stupid but this, this, this cream, which I'm thinking you can probably apply just with your hands instead of using a brush. This cream is just really like slick. You know, it's just leaving a really slippery surface for me to shave on. Okay, so first pass is done. I got some good beard reduction. And of course in wet shaving, our goal is not to get a baby's butt smooth shave the first time. But it is to, you know, just reduce the beers. Uh, uh, Mantic, my old buddy Mantic there, which I've never met him, but he, man, what great videos. If, if you know anybody that wants to learn wet shaving for the very first time, they got to watch all of the Mantic videos on YouTube. Uh, that guy just breaks it down in an educational fashion. Um, and he makes it entertaining, too. Okay, so now I'm going to reapply. Again, this does not foam up. Okay, now why do I use the brush then? Well, I like to use the brush because maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I feel like it actually penetrates the beard and skin more, kind of does an exfoliation while I'm applying it, and then I just kind of brush it on, paint it on, on top of that. So here's the second pass. I'm going to go across the grain for this pass, and I'm going to start at my mustache area and go this way and then that way. There you go. Wow. I'm telling you, now the scent on this thing is really, really subtle. Okay. Um, it's like a it's like a cream scent that you would, you know, buy a cream in the store, but it does not smell feminine. It's a masculine cream scent. But there's no, like, cologne in it. It's not a heavily scented product at all. Very lightly scented. Okay. Now I have a mole here, and i got to be really careful... Because if I slice that thing open, man, it's like, you know, Red Cross City. I don't know about you guys, but my chin, now, on the bottom here, I go this way across the grain. And I'm going to explain that in a second, why I do that on my face. One of the things that Mantic recommends is making a map of your face, okay? Feeling around... He actually explains it really well, but you feel around your face and you just, you know, really feel and discern what direction the hairs are growing so that you can better understand how to shave. Okay, now for this next application, I'm going to, uh, just give me one second here, sorry about that. Remember, I don't have any high tech. I'm going to put a little bit more of this cream on the brush. Okay, you see that? All right. And now I'm going to just work it in and paint it on one last time. I would say the scent on this is very refreshing. You know, it's light, it's pleasant, it's not cologne-y or, you know, like all those old-time cologne products, which I love those, by the way. I'm a big-time barbershop scent kind of guy. Um, man, I, I love Douglas Smythe CAD. That's my favorite scent of all time, one of my favorite soaps of all time. Um, Katie's Bubbles, um, the, the, um, the name is escaping me right now, but the, uh, the one that smells like almond and cherry, that's really nice. But this stuff is it's a really light scent. It's very refreshing, and it feels good on the face. There's, there's a little bit of, uh, of mint in there that, that cools the face, but it's not overwhelming. If, you, if you're not a big menthol guy, then you'd still probably like this, okay? I'm a big menthol guy. I love the cooling effect of, of those mentholated soaps. Uh, this one has just a little, just a hint of mint in it, 
so it does cool the face nice. So now I'm going to go against the grain, which for me mostly is up. Now I said I would explain that in a second why I do this across the grain on my neck. It's because I have a patch right here that actually grows this way. So across against the grain would be that way on that patch. And I'm going to go up. Most of my face against the grain is up, so I'm going to go up now. And this is the, the, the money pass, as most guys would call it. Well, this is where the rubber meets the road. Okay? And I think anybody can shave with the grain. Most anybody can shave safely across the grain. Going against the grain, that's when you're going to be really testing your product out. And I'm telling you, man, this stuff is... It's slicker than a used car salesman at the end of the month. No offense to any used car salesman out there. My wife and I are actually looking for a car right now, and we're using an auto broker. I'm really excited about this, because this guy has been in the industry for many years on the other side of the desk as a car salesman for a dealership. So he knows all of their tricks and all of their gimmicks. And we're paying him 500 bucks to do all the negotiations, searching, shopping, and all that stuff for us. And I know at the end of the day, he's going to save me not only way more than 500 bucks. He'll probably save us a couple of grand. But he's going to save us the hassle and the time. Which to me is absolutely worth it, man. You know, if we're in business, time is... Time is very valuable because we can always get money back, but brother, we can't get time back. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing some touch up against it. Now, this is okay. Before I shave the other half of my mustache, my mustache, like I said before, is really, really rigid. And going against the grain, even using great products, okay, I'm not just talking about the, the crap that you can buy in a drugstore, even using great products, it still presents a challenge. With this well-groomed gentleman shave cream, man, it's like easy. And of course, I'm going to give credit to my, my razor here and the blade. Wilkinson Sword, you know they make the swords for the Marines. By the way, if you served in the armed services and you're watching this video, I really, truly appreciate your service to our country. You guys and ladies are our best, okay? The veterans of our country and the active duty uh, service personnel of our country are absolutely our best. I highly support you. I've got many family members that have served in the military, and, and I love you guys. I really do. So anyway, back to shaving. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just like, man, I tell you, baby's butt's all got a little spot here on a touch up. Okay, so remember that spot I mentioned here on my neck? I'm going to reapply. Okay, and go against the grain down there. And this is actually harder than my mustache. I don't know why this area here just freaking drives me nuts but okay so so far so good okay now I I have a ritual I always do this um, even though if I do a good job which I did a pretty good job this time I, I did have a couple of spots here um, I apply an allen block you know the military's been using allen blocks for years and years to uh, for wounds. They actually put them in soldiers' kits. I don't know if they still do or not, but they did for quite a while. Okay, so but it's, a, it's got good antiseptic properties. So I apply that. And now I'm just going to towel off. Okay. Grab my towel. Towel off a bit here. Now, I could probably end there. Okay, that can probably be it because this cream has just left my face super hydrated. Okay, it's, it's, I mean, it's really, really good. But I'm not going to end there because the guys gave me 
some post shave balm. Okay, where is it? Can I find it? Yep, yeah, right there. Boom. Got it. Just go in my medicine cabinet for a second. Oops. See, I got too many shaving products here. <laughs> Which my wife talks to me about. Like, why are you always buying that stuff? Well, why are you always buying shoes? Actually, she's gotten a lot better about that. I'm not going to throw under the bus with that. So, um, I got my aftershave balm here. Uh, some of the, the key ingredients I'm going to read you. Let's see here. We got some aloe in there. Uh, we've got lavender in there. We've got some uh, peppermint oil in there, which is going to give it a nice cooling uh, feel. There's some fragrance in there, but it's the la fragrance is the last ingredient. So this does not have a strong scent at all. The first time I used this, again, was the other day when I did the live shave on South Florida Wet Shavers. Um, I put way too much in my hands. So, a, dude, a little bit of this goes a long way. And again, this is the Well Groomed Gentleman um, Aftershave Balm. Okay, so I, because I don't have high tech equipment here, I'm just going to set my camera down for less than 10 seconds. And I'm going to put this and I'm going to apply it and I'm going to bring you back. So, in the meantime, well, you can kind of still see me. There you go. All right, so I just did two and a half squirts of this stuff. Rub it on. Oh man, wow. Maybe, you know what? Maybe three and a half squirts would have been enough. Yes, the other day I did like five and it was just too much. Okay. Wow, this stuff feels great. The scent on it is very, very mild, so you can use whatever cologne you want on top of that. And it's it's gonna be fine. Okay, so man, my face looks like it feels like a million bucks. Okay, this is Well Green Gentleman, Miracle Mile in Coral Gables. Al Molini is the owner of the place. Super great guy. I just met him for the first time six days ago. Um, just real genuine guy. You know, homegrown here in Miami. Went to Miami High School, Miami Senior High, um, and you know he's an honest businessman. This is you know trying to bring value to our community. Okay, they've got a whole spa there, which I have not yet tried out, but they've got like massage tables, they've got manicure, pedicure, if you're into that stuff. They got facial, which I have not done yet, but I'm going to do. Um, really excited about it. Anyway, Lee Morrison signing off. South Florida Wet Shavers, if you are a uh, resident of I-4 and South, or if you have previous ties to our community, like if you went to UM, UCF, USF, FIU, uh, if you went to high school down here, if you live somewhere else, but if you know if, if you're from the South Florida region originally, uh, go ahead and hit us up. Um, I'm sure one of the administrators. I'm not an administrator anymore. I'm sure one of the administrators would be glad to approve you and welcome you to the fold. Uh, and and anyway, I'm going to sign off now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an incredible day. Make it an incredible day. Remember, we make our own luck. Take care, guys.